a blessed, uh, a blessed Sunday within the Easter season. As I was saying at the start of the Mass, that it's a continuous reminder and experiencing together with a celebration that the Easter season is a prolonged like understanding and manner of appreciating the mercy and the love of God. In fact, today being the eighth day after the Feast of the Divine Mercy, we have a very appropriate expression that we have heard, we have just heard from the second reading today. Not only for your sins, but for the sins of the whole world. And those of you who are uh, devoted to the Divine Mercy Chaplet, you will hear that very expression in the very three o'clock prayer itself. For the whole sins, for the whole world, huh? the sins of all the whole world. Now this beautiful reminder is also very much actually uh, included in the speech of St. Peter in today's first reading when he was talking about for you acted out of ignorance. I hope you heard that clearly read and it stuck to your mind because this is only a very significant Lucan expression. Naadon siya sa Ibanghilyo ni San Lucas. This actually understanding of the people, especially the Jewish people, acting out of ignorance. If you go back to the Siete Palabras, okay, the very first of the seven last words of Jesus while hanging on the cross is or was, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they have done. Now this is one way of St. Luke's bringing into account, and actually it's more of an advertising thing. Now that there is always this sense of innocence despite the people's vehemence or vehement reaction to his message. But it is always taken as a particular starting point or entry point into the innocence that is needed so that the mercy of God can always be experienced. Tinuod na, diha sa atong pagkumpisal, diha sa atong pagdawat, sa atong kasalanan, we always say to ourselves, Bless my innocence. No? Muna nga, usahay na abi at expression sa Cebuano nga, innocenting tuplok. No? Pa innocenti, innocenti, aron ingnon. No? Pero I think that is just a cover up. But the real thing is, mercy can only be experienced and the love of God can only be enjoyed when we really are open and we really, you know, bring it out nga at naajuntay rason o naagutay hinungdan that we are culpable but in the face of God's mercy all of this are considered practically like ignorance or innocence precisely because his love can never be measured his love is unfathomable that's why today the third Sunday of Easter can also best be uh, described as the octave of the divine mercy Sunday after all uh, today is the eighth day of that very celebration. So walay hunong is a continuous thing. And with that, we also have to take a look into how these things have been happening and have been fulfilled in as much as the scriptures have also written all about what is going to take place. Jesus is now trying to make the disciples understand and all of us that all these things will always take place and it has to begin in Jerusalem. Why Jerusalem? Today's gospel reading ends with that. And you will be uh, witnesses to this beginning from Jerusalem. Nanong sa Jerusalem man magsugod? Because in the gospel of St. Luke, once more, Jerusalem takes a central point because that's every, everything, that's from where everything should come from, should start. The experience of his passion, death, and resurrection. Those who witnessed the things that he did, the, say, the words that he said, the teachings that he actually was telling them, began from there. Inasmuch as, according to St. Luke, it is also the very place where Jesus will be ascending to heaven. And from there, all the disciples will be scattered throughout the world. 
And so there is always a Jerusalem in our faith. Inasmuch as our baptism is always connected or related to a, cert to a certain Jordan River, to a, to a certain starting point, the very heart of our faith always has a Jerusalem as well. Muna nga, I'd like you to, like an assignment of course, of sort, I would like you to think over and try to reflect, where is my Jerusalem in the faith? And when we say Jerusalem, these are experiences and moments not only of joy, but also of testings and trials. Because Jerusalem is where the Lord suffered for us, practically died for us, and rose from the dead for us. And this is the very beautiful moment and place. So together with our Jordan, we also have a Jerusalem. And take note, they did not mawala because they all begin with the letter J. What is your Jordan? And what is your Jerusalem? Try to think and reflect about it, and then be able to share it, most especially with the people closest to you. Or if not, you can go out of that circle to your friends. What is my Jerusalem? What is your Jerusalem? And with that, we constantly thank the Lord because it is from this very experience that He is always there, walking with us, speaking to us, and actually feeling and experiencing whatever we have in our lives. Amen.